Hello guys, uh, today I'm gonna show you how to install Android uh, Lollipop uh, on your Xperia S device. Uh, first thing uh, you need uh, to do is to root uh, your phone. Uh, for that uh, you will need uh, this uh, application, uh, copy on your phone and install it. After that uh, you just run and uh, your phone will be rooted. Uh, after you root the phone, uh, you need to connect uh, the phone uh, on uh, the computer in uh, fast boot uh, mode. And uh, to do that, uh, you need to uh, press uh, volume volume up uh, button and connect uh, USB in the same time. Uh, let me show you. And uh, you will see a blue light on the fan. Now, just uh, press uh, right click on the My Computer Manage. And uh, in the sort, uh, you will need to do something uh, before you start uh, uh, updating, installing your driver ADV. Press install. Yeah. yeah. And now you have installed ADM driver. You will see now this. After uh, you install uh, USB driver, uh, you will need to uh, make a backup. TA backup. Uh, what is TA backup? Backup. <laughs> uh, is this can backup and restore the TA partition of the device and you can restore full factory state including a locked uh, bootloader um, before uh, uh, TA backup uh, if you want you can uh, backup your uh, files on the phone if you want uh, and uh, to uh, make a TA backup, just connect to your phone into fast boot mode. Uh, you will see now this, and uh, there is installed. Uh, just uh, run backup there. Uh, press OK. Uh, waiting for USB the the book. You will need to enable uh, USB debug on the phone, uh, and to do that, uh, you you just power your phone.
just go to go to settings uh, developer options and uh, activate uh, this USB debugging Now, uh, after you connect the phone into your computer, just uh, select one backup and press yes, y, y, and uh, then uh, after you will backup your TA. Uh, now uh, you need to unlock uh, the bootloader. Uh, just turn turn off your phone and connect uh, the phone into fast boot mode. and uh, open it uh, make sure you make sure you have uh, your phone connected uh, in uh, fast boot uh, I will put this uh, in, in the description just uh, copy paste enter and uh, see if you get uh, this and uh, there is uh, no error uh, and after just copy this and again paste and press enter I have uh, already unlocked uh, my bootloader so I don't have uh, to do I don't need to do this again uh, after that uh, your phone is uh, unlocked your bootloader is uh, unlocked and uh, now you will need uh, to install uh, your uh, Android uh, Lollipop. Uh, I'll put uh, these archives uh, to download. Uh, these are uh, uh, Google Play applications. Uh, this is the Android. And uh, if you want to have a root on uh, Android Lollipop, you will need to install this and. Uh, I will show you how. Just copy this on your phone. You make a folder on your phone and copy this tree. And uh, after you copy, just connect your phone again uh, into the fast boot mode. And uh, open this flash tool. Just uh, open it. After you open it, uh, you will see that uh, your device is connected in fast boot mode. Now just press uh, this, uh, choose uh, fast boot mode, and uh, 
select the kernel to flash just press and uh, choose uh, and choose uh, just make sure you have uh, this uh, selected and uh, flash the kernel uh, that uh, I'll put uh, into the archive just open you will see this that uh, and uh, after you press reboot uh, Davis into the system and now you will see your phone will boot you, uh, your phone will boot uh, into the recovery mode. just disconnect it wait to restart Uh, to turn off your phone, uh, just uh, uh, now uh, when the phone starts, uh, just uh, press volume up, and uh, you will see this on your phone. I don't know if you see good. After this will show on your phone, yeah, this is the button to go down, this is to select and this is back. Now you will need to wipe uh, data and the uh, factory reset, just press ok and then yes delete uh, all uh, user data. Now. After that, uh, just uh, go into the choose install zip from uh, SD card, press ok, choose uh, zip from SD card, now go to the folder where, where you copy the Android and Google applications. And uh, first, uh, install, uh, choose, uh, and choose the Android to install it. Press go yes, and now uh, your your phone will install the Android uh, Lollipop. Now uh, go again into the folder and choose uh, 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 Google applications. Choose yes, and now you. Uh, you you will have uh, Google applications on uh, your phone.
that's ok, now go again into the folder and uh, choose the uh, the root uh, archive if you want root on your phone just go install again now after you install the android uh, and google applications and uh, root archive just go and uh, choose re first uh, reboot system now choose yes you uh, uh, if you install root uh, you will have uh, to choose yes fix root and your phone will now restart And now uh, uh, you just wait uh, because uh, uh, this process uh, lasts uh, uh, till 20 minutes, 15, I don't know uh, exactly. And uh, don't panic, just wait and you, your phone with, uh, with will start uh, into uh, Lollipop Android.